What's going on everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. Right now it's 841 Thursday, July 29th. Right now... Oh, damn. And right now I'm hitting you guys with a video, an unboxing of my... Um, leather decal, leather skin from SGP, United SGP Corp. This just came in today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing right now and an install and kind of my first my uh, first, my first impression. So, let's get into this. So, go hit them up if you haven't already. They've got a lot of um, cool products. It's sgpstore.com um, or follow them on Twitter at sgpstore. So, big shout out to them. Um, I did buy this, you know, I spent 20 some odd dollars with shipping and everything so I'm really excited about this product and I can't really wait to uh, see what it looks like and see what it looks like on my phone and everything so once again I got the leather skin guard for the back of my iPhone 4 they have a little sample of what it feels like and by first touch it feels like leather I guess but uh, here's the packaging really nice packaging by the people over at SGP so it looks very good this package comes with um, one LCD protector and it is a, a crystal or ultra crystal LCD protector so I hope you guys are having a good week so far um, I know I am follow me on Twitter if you're not already it's uh, at Tim's tech blog that's where you'll find me pretty straightforward so within the pot uh, the packaging contents you get the um, ultra crystal clear screen protector which I'm going to install right now I'm currently rocking this um, anti-glare and I really want to get that whole you know retina display aspect of my phone back so I'm gonna take this one off and put that one on you get a little squeegee here for the install process and then here is the actual decal so I got the leather one as you can see it's a nice leather print let's go ahead and smell it oh yep that is for sure leather no doubt about it um, feels like leather it's very thin if you guys can't really see that but I'm gonna go ahead and take off my um, Jello skin decal and go ahead and do the install of this now the hardest part is probably going to be laying down this I was watching Larry Greenberg's video and the hardest part that he had was lining up the Apple logo so so right now I'm going to take off this this uh, decal here and I'm gonna actually put it on something where I can get to it again so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the back of this because I really like this decal and I want to use it again and again Jello skin says is it's 3M material and you can just take it off as many times as you'd like and put it back on so as you can see just take a little piece of tape and take this bad boy off. Stick it on here for later. It's really, really, really thin, so there's what the material of the back look like looks like. It looks like a wet duct tape type of thing, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the install right now and see if I can nail it the first time or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt it with the face down here and try to just get the camera ports lined up and then the Apple logo. So with one thing I can mention about these things is just to be patient. Take your th take your time, line it up sort of, and just kind of lay it down. So here it is installed. Um, it took me about maybe five or ten minutes to do it. Good pointer for you guys if you're going to lay this down. Just put your phone down face flat like this and then start from the top. Make sure that you line up all the sides here and that there's an equal amount of distance between, you know, the cutout and the camera bezels and all that stuff. And then use the bottom of the phone here as your line of reference. So as you can see, the Apple logo is nice and shining through there. That's just a little minor. Oh, now I'm getting it all thumbprinty. Anyway, just take a look at it. It looks super clean. The cutouts are really nice. Take a look at that. Oh, looks really good. The texture is really nice. It um, definitely feels like leather. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick either. If you can kind of see where the decal is there, it's really super, super thin. But um, smells good. Definitely gives it like a business executive type of look, and I really, really like that. Um, very professional looking. Feels nice. It adds like a good little different texture it's not really grippy or anything but it gives it a good gives it a good feel you know it feels different I like it a lot um, so here we have my bumper I'm gonna go ahead and install this 
let's see what it looks like with it on. Again, the install process is really easy, you guys. Just take your time. That's all I have to say. And this looks effing rad. The skin guard on there, the leather skin guard, it gives it a nice feel. I can't wait to kind of like break it in and see what it looks like kind of um, worn in just a little bit. It's nice and soft, you know, and adds good scratch protection. If you guys have any questions or comments, just hit the comment box. If you like this video, just give a quick thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumb it down. If you have any questions, again, ask me. I respond to everything. So uh, I just put the SGP crystal clear screen protector on there and I did a pretty good job of doing that. Check out my other video of how to perfectly install a screen protector. But anyway, I used that method and this screen protector looks amazing. Not only do I get the pop of my screen back without any of the anti-glaring going on or the frosty look, but it looks awesome. There's no rainbow effect if I put this thing under direct light. Some um, Screen protectors, especially crystal um, clear ones, give you like a weird rainbow effect, and that one doesn't do it. Another thing I wanted to point out about this case, real quick, is I'll just go ahead and bring the camera down here, real quick. Is when you have it, um, or not the case, the leather skin guard, when you have it on its back, it provides a nice little grip. I mean, this leather is super, super soft. I don't know if that does justice, but it's it's got a really nice texture and it's really really soft and it's not really grippy it's not gonna have a problem going in and out of your pocket at all like at all but it still kinda provides a nice little grip so as I was installing this screen protector I was kinda pushing the phone a little bit but it wasn't moving at all as you can see it just kinda stays put you know you gotta really gotta push it to get it out of the way so uh, just some few little quick pointers there um, you guys should definitely grab it I'm gonna take these little rail guards off from that uh, Jello skins decal, but uh, otherwise, looks awesome, you guys. I guess that's it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog checking out of here. Peace.